The fuel tanks on present-day light training airplanes are located in the wings and are filled through openings in the top of the wings that are covered by caps. This Cessna uses a wet wing or what Cessna calls an integral fuel tank. A portion of the inboard wing structure itself is utilized as the tank. Fuel lines carry the fuel from the tanks to the rest of the fuel system. The fuel caps are vented which permits air to replace the fuel consumed during flight. Another vent under the left wing allows for expansion of fuel caused by high temperature. You may see some fuel dripping from this vent, particularly after topping off the tanks during hot weather. Five drain valves are located on the bottom of each wing of the 172 to allow you to draw samples to check for water or sediment and proper fuel. Water, or sediment, being heavier than fuel, settles to the bottom of the tanks. You'll find drain valves at the lowest point in the fuel selector, fuel reservoir, and fuel strainer. These are another safety element in the fuel system and allows the fuel to be filtered. Plus, it'll trap any water or sediment so that they can be drained out before they reach the engine. Always follow the airplane or engine manufacturer's guidelines about the type of fuel to be used in the engine. Using a grade lower than specified is likely to cause engine damage. Aviation gasoline is colored blue and rated at 100 octane. It is sometimes called 100 low lead because there used to be a higher lead version that was colored green. Check your fuel color before every flight. Jet fuel is clear or straw colored and smells like kerosene. Although jet fuel is used in some diesel aircraft engines, it must never be used in gasoline engines. Jet fuel can cause severe damage and complete power loss in a gasoline engine. At some airports, automobile gasoline called MoGas is sold for aircraft use. MoGas can only be used if your airplane is specifically approved for it. Many older airplanes specify 80-octane gasoline, which is no longer available. It is okay to use the higher-octane 100 low lead in these airplanes. Now let's examine the fuel system of the Cessna 172 in detail. Fuel flows by gravity from the two wing tanks to the three-position selector valve. From the selector valve, the fuel travels into a reservoir tank and then through the electric auxiliary fuel pump. This pump is operated and controlled by the pilot from a switch on the instrument panel. The electric fuel pump is normally used to prime the cylinders with fuel before starting the engine and is a backup to the engine-driven pump at other times. The two pumps are another redundant system for safety. From the auxiliary fuel pump, the fuel flows past the fuel shutoff valve, through the fuel strainer, to the engine-driven fuel pump, where it is delivered to the fuel-air control unit. The fuel flow rate is determined by the amount of air passing through the fuel-air control unit. From the fuel-air control unit, fuel is directed to the fuel distribution valve and on to the fuel injector nozzle for each cylinder. Fuel flow is measured at the distribution valve where it is displayed in the cockpit on the fuel flow gauge in gallons per hour.